Hi everyone, Ryan here from Fight Game Analysis, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about Kamaru Uzman and where he stands in the Walter White rankings and even in the pound for pound list. But before we jump into that, if you've been enjoying the content, please go ahead and click on the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate your support. All right, so last night UFC 268 wrapped up. Kamaru Uzman gets another win over Colby Covington, an impressive victory. Gotta say, Colby Covington going into this was probably considered amongst most, certainly certainly by me, as the number one challenger for the throne. First fight was really a back and forth affair up until the fifth round when Usman was able to go out there and get that knockout victory. So going into this one, particularly with how Usman had looked against everybody else who came to the plate and what Colby Covington was able to do to everybody else, like this was the rematch that needed to happen, man. This was what we needed to see. This was the fight we wanted to see. And this was the fight that we got to see last night. And man, it told us a lot. It told us a lot about both fighters. Number one, both men delivered. Got to gotta give it to both men. They both came out there and put on a championship performance. I think Dana White said in the post-fight interview that if it, if Col- if it wasn't for Usman, Colby Covington would absolutely hold the belt in that division. That's how good he is. Unquestionably goes out there and beats everybody that isn't named Kamaru Usman. And Usman, man, what a performance by this dude. I mean... Everybody knew that he lived up to his name as the Nigerian Nightmare. Back when he was a contender, people weren't calling him out. Really, truly, the um, the most avoided man comes out with this just super strong for the division, long arms, long reach. He's able to figure out ways to get things done. Dominant wrestling, constantly going out there, putting on a good performance, figuring out the striking the whole time. Now, for like the last three, four fights, he went out there and started working with Trevor Whitman, who really, truly took his striking to the next level, really helped him figure out how to just use that telephone pole jab. Man, that jab is something else. Really taught him how to deliver that right hand and put some that real true power behind it. And that power was the difference last night between what Usman brought to the table and what Colby Covington has. That power is really what we saw in the second round when he sat him down with those two left hooks. I mean, first of all, the delivery on it was great. Very little tell. Set up the angle on it really nice coming out. He got caught with the left hand, kind of stepped off a little bit, and then caught Covington with that return left hand. Kobe never saw it. Never saw it coming. Great power on it. Turned it over nice. Caught him with another one. Dropped him a second time. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm surprised Usman didn't get to finish in the second round. Man, he looked good. He had Kobe, Kobe hurt. But that but that isn't a knock on what Usman brings to the table. That just shows to, That just goes to show how good Colby Covington is. So we're sitting here now after the second round. We think it's going to be we think it's going to be one. Colby Covington's able to come back. He digs deep, puts Usman in some bad positions, hurts him at times. But Usman's able to come out with the win. So think about where we stand here now at this point. This dude has racked up a super long list of wins. I don't even know what it is at this point. What's got like 15? But look at the title range. Right, that's what I'm really concerned with. I don't care too much. I'm not really too concerned about what guys do and who they fight when they come in. Maybe they were earlier in their career. Maybe they were fighting some tomato cans and they were already, they were already established and really high level. These big prospects. That's not really what concerns me when I start to look at guys' legacies. When I start to think about where to rank guys. When I start to think about how impressive they've been overall. Right, they're just overall body of work. I think about what they start to do when they really reach the top. When they're fighting the best of the best. How do they look then? How long have they been there? And man, Usman has done it. Dos Anjos, Woodley, two wins against Masvidal, two wins against Colby Covington, Gilbert Burns. Like, what more do you want from this man? I know that there's this huge debate. Is he or is he, or is he not the greatest welterweight of all time? How can we how can we take the title away from GSP? He's been the he's been unquestionably the greatest welterweight of all time for quite some time. For a long time, he was talked about as potentially the number one pound for pound. I mean. I was leaning towards Anderson Silva. They both competed at the same time, but whatever, he was in the discussion. Then he comes back and wins the the crown at 185. Oh my God, GSP. Okay, but look at Usman's body of work at 170 pounds. Dude, I'm as big a GSP fan as anybody else. Huge Usman fan as well. But I think after last night's performance, GSP has to take that half step back. Usman is now the GOAT at 170 pounds. Dude, I, I love him at Walter Wade. The man goes out there and makes it happen. And here's the thing, he keeps getting better. He keeps getting better. He's in his physical prime right now. And he's still getting better. 
disciplined, loves to dedicate himself to the craft, went out there, found a coach that was going to help him take his weak point, weak point, which was his hands, his weak point, which was his striking, went out there and found Trevor Whitman, helped him get to that next level so that he continued to progress and get better. Like that's what you want to see from your champions. That's what you want to see from the best. A guy who's going to go out there and fully unlock his potential and just give the fans just just let them see what's really what he's really capable of. Let them see what the art can be like when it's performed at its highest level. Man, I couldn't be happier to see what Usman brings to the table. I really want to see what's next for him. He's kind of cleaned out the division at this point. I mean, yeah, we got a Leon Edwards fight out there. Okay. Yeah, you know, down the road, you know, provided that he comes out of this one with Masvidal as the vic- with the victory. Obviously, we've got, you know, this destroyer Chemaev coming up through the division. But in my opinion, he's got to get a couple more wins before we start talking about him really truly getting a title shot. I know people are talking about it because of how impressive he's looked in his first four victories. I get it, man. The dude, he couldn't be more impressive, right? He goes out there and takes like, what, two strikes or three strikes in four fights cumulatively? Like, dudes take way more shots than that in one round of sparring. I mean, it couldn't it, it, it couldn't be more impressive. But a title shot? Come on. Let's see what you can do with the top contenders in the division before we start putting the anointing on and just oil, oil on them just yet. You know, let's pull out the Hall of Fame considerations at this point. Let's let the man build up his resume a little bit before we throw him in there with Usman. Let's see what he can do. But I, I agree. He's incredibly intriguing. Chimaev looks incredibly dominant. He looks super good. I'm really excited to see what he brings to the division as well. Just not ready to see him in there with Usman yet. But what does Usman do at this point? You know, I don't want to see him go up to 185 and fight Adesanya. I'm an old school type of guy, man. I really like it when someone just plants their flag in the ground in a division. Marvin Hagler style, Bernard Hopkins style, and said, this is where I'm at. This is what I'm doing. I'm not going to bounce around. I'm wiping out my division and my generation. I'm going to be here when the new young guys come up. I'm going to wipe them out too. I'm the man. I'm going to stay here for a long time. I always think that is just incredibly impressive when a guy can just carve out a block of time in a division, and that is just his for an extended period of time. It's something else. So we'll see what Usman decides to do. I mean, he's already just come over here and just, in my opinion, wiped it out, established himself as the best to ever do it at 170 pounds in the UFC. Can't wait to see what's next. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Am I over-exaggerating this? Is he still number two? Are you still giving this to GSP? Or is last night's performance enough to finally convince everybody that he's the man. And what's next for him? Let me know what you guys think.